everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Raluca. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I did this look right here because I want to start like a series on Christmas makeup. For today's look, I went for a classic gold sparkly eye with a red lip because I feel like this is the most iconic look for Christmas. It's a classic one. <laughs> and yeah, I want to start like a mini series for holiday looks, Christmas and New Year's Eve. It's going to be very sparkly. <laughs> I can promise you that. <laughs> if you don't want to miss any of my future uploads, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and let's get started. Okay, so obviously my brows are done already. That's because I already have a tutorial on how I do my brows. I'm going to link it down below in the description box. For today's look, I'm going to start with my eyes just because there's going to be a lot of glitter involved and I'm not sure if there is going to be any fallout, but just in case um, anything falls on my face, I want to be able to wipe it away and avoid ruining my base makeup. So for my eyes, I'm going to first prime them. I'm going to use my, um, this is just my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm just going to apply a little bit of this on my eyelids and I'm going to blend it using a Morphe brush. I think I'm going to use all brushes today just because I just don't feel in the mood to wash my sponge. <laughs> I don't feel in the mood to wash my brushes either, but I have some clean ones on hand. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> I should really wash my brushes. <laughs> so I'm just tapping this in just to get the product into my skin. For this look I'm going to use the Makeup Addiction Sinful Eyes Palette because I didn't use it in quite a long time and I also have some glitters here that I've laid my eyes on, this one especially, and I want to use it for today's look. I don't really want to use very dark colors, of course there's going to be the glitter which is going to make the eye look really pop, but in general I want to use lighter colors so I'm just going to use the Naked Lunch shade here. Uh, the brush that I'm using is a Makeup Addiction Tapered Crease Brush. So I think I'm just going to go in with two shades, like Naked Lunch and GOAT Level. So I'm taking this on my brush, tapping off the excess a little bit. And this is going to go in my outer corner and my crease. So I'm just placing it and then with circular motions I'm blending the shade into my skin. And for the edges it's like I'm wiping let's say, so I'm just doing left and right motions to really blend the color into my skin. About this glitter, the GOAT level shade, um, they state that they are water activated. So far I only use them with a glitter primer but I I think I want to try it with just water to see how it goes. I think I'm just going to dip my finger into a little bit of water. <laughs> and let's see, I'm going to take the shade on my fingers. Because it's a glitter, it, I feel like it's best to apply it with your hands. And let's see how this goes. Ooh, pretty. So yeah. It works really great with just water, so you don't really need a glitter primer for this. This is really interesting though, because without any water, it doesn't apply well at all. But I'm going to need something to kind of deepen my lash line, I think. I don't know if I'm going to do like a wing liner or just like a faded smoky liner. I think I'm going to go with the second option, the smoky liner. I'm so proud that I started with my eyes because there's a lot of fallout on my face from this glitter. Now for the smoky liner that I was talking about a little bit earlier, I'm going to start by taking a um, brown pencil. This one is the Sephora Collection 12 hour pencil in the shade Tiramisu because I feel like a black liner would be a little bit too harsh for this look I kind of prefer brown for this particular makeup and I'm going to use a technique that I've been using a lot lately <laughs> What you're going to need is a pencil of course and a pencil brush This one is the Morphe M 
149 brush and I'm going to line the outer corner of my eye you don't need to be very precise with this and I'm going to do like a very short liner because I'm going to extend it with blending this is all right as you can see it's very bulky and not that precise but we're going to fix it with the pencil brush so I'm going to go over the pencil and really really smudge it for the most part you kind of want to keep your eyes open so you can uh, go over your eye creases and the liner will look good when you have your eyes open because that's uh, what we want and here we have a very soft faded liner we're going to cover it with some eyeshadow I don't know why lately I kind of prefer to go for this blended smoky liner rather than a regular liner my tastes are kind of shifting let's say <laughs> I don't know to set the liner in place because I've used a cream product you kind of want to use a powder product on top like an eyeshadow so I'm going to take the shade shameless and mix it with a little bit of the black night moves to kind of create a slightly darker brown and let's see how this goes and with the same brush I'm going to go over the pencil just to make it a little bit more long-lasting I'm going to apply the lashes right now but first uh, I'm going to apply some mascara on my top lashes For lashes, I'm just going to go with some AliExpress ones, this one right here. I ordered some other ones and I'm so excited for them to arrive. I found some lashes on AliExpress that are so good and they're like $2. I think I'm going to add the link to the description box so you can order if you want to because they look really amazing and so affordable. I waited for like a minute for the glue to dry. And I think I can stick them to my eye right now. They look so, so pretty. I can't. Now I want to order even more. I'm obsessed with just having lashes on hand. Even though I don't really wear them on my everyday life. It's very rare that I wear false lashes outside. But I should maybe start wearing them a little bit more often. Because they look so beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to move on to my face and I'm going to use my The Ordinary Coverage Foundation just because I really want to finish this one. I have maybe one or two uses left. I really want to get rid of this one. So I'm just going to take it like this from the tube. This is a pretty good foundation, especially for the price. I'm just going to blend this in using my Real Techniques Face Expert brush. I didn't use the brush in a while because I really used to using the sponge, but I'm really lazy today. I've been to work today for 8 hours, so... I really want to sleep right now. <laughs> but I'm getting glam. The coverage on this foundation is really good. Um, usually not used to wearing this kind of a coverage. Most of the time I'm using a little bit of more sheer foundations. Even though it covers so well, it still looks quite natural on the skin. Has anyone seen my pimple? Because I can see it. <laughs> I'm looking really yellow right now, but the rest of my makeup is going to balance things out in the end, I promise. I'm going to use the Catrice One Drop Coverage Concealer. This one right here. It's kind of like the Catrice foundation, but in a smaller bottle and I feel like it's so cute. <laughs> it's an okay concealer. It's not life-changing or anything. This one is in the shade Nude Beige. And I'm applying a little bit on my under eye. Ooh, I applied a little bit too much. I'm taking a little bit of this and applying it in the center of my face to highlight a little bit. 
Why is my foundation separating weirdly though? Okay, and with my brush I'm going to blend my under eyes. It's so weird for me to be using a brush. Why am I so lazy? I should have washed my sponge, but okay, I think I can work this out. For my other eyes, as usual, I'm going to use a blending brush. This is a Makeup Addiction Dual Fiber Blender. This is my RCMA No Color Powder, by the way. And I'm just going to tap this on my under eyes. For the rest of my face, I'm going to use a fluffier brush. Taking a little bit of powder. And setting everything in place. I have this KVD Vegan Beauty Shade and Light Contour for Eyes. Um, and I don't know, I'm kind of curious to see if I can use this shade as a contour shade. Because it looks like this, it's very cool toned. And I don't know if I can do that kind of a, a cool toned contour. I kind of want to try it out. <laughs> I'm just going to take some. On my brush, this is a Morphe M405. I'm just hoping this goes well. But if it, if, if it doesn't, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> okay. So, let's see. <sighs> okay. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Do I like it? This is weird. I feel like... I mean, it looks quite weird, but... I don't know. I kind of have mixed feelings about it. But it's not... that bad. So I'm just going to continue. <laughs> so, I'll contour my jawline. It's looking a little bit weird. I don't think I would go out like this. But I feel like on camera it looks quite normal, let's say. I'm probably never going to do this again. But you never know. <laughs> Contouring my forehead. I'm not even sure if this is like a contour powder or an eyeshadow. Because, I don't know, it's in a bigger pan. And it kind of looks like the shade and light um, face palette. But I feel like it's a little bit too grey. <laughs> I mean, I get cool tone contour, but this is a little bit too cool tone, if you ask me. Or I'm just not used to this kind of a shade. I don't know. Maybe blush is going to balance things out a little bit. For blush today, I'm going to use my Sigma Blush Cheek Palette. And my Sigma F10 Blush Brush. And I'm going to take this Cor de Rosa shade in the corner and apply this a little bit above the contour powder. I like that this one is a little bit more on the red side, let's say, even though it's quite natural. And some on the tip of my nose as well, because I feel like applying blush on the tip of your nose is like, it gives that cold winter feeling, you know? <laughs> I really hope that a few years from now, I'm not going to look at my makeup and be like ashamed of the amount of blush that I apply. I don't know. I really love blush. Let me just finish the under eyes before moving on to highlighter. And by that, I just mean applying the Naked Lunch shade all over my lower lash line. And I'm just going to use the, the same brush, the tapered crease brush by Makeup Addiction. And I'm just going to fade this color all over my lower lash line. Just to define it a little bit. There's nothing going to be too crazy on the lower lash line. Just quickly applying some mascara on my lower lashes. Because I feel like if I'm not going to do this step right now, I'm just going to forget about it. 
It happened to me so many times that I forgot to apply mascara on my lower lashes and then I looked at the photos and I was like, damn. <laughs> I don't know if cool tone contour is for me though. <laughs> I would rather go with a neutral tone. Okay, moving on. For highlighter today I'm going to apply the NYX Born to Glow palette. Mm, I think I'm going to take this shade, the one that I have a little baby pan in. I feel like the only pans that I have in my collection are in highlighters. <laughs> Just because I love applying highlighter. Okay. This looks so beautiful. This is really blinding as well. I think I applied a little bit too much. Who cares? This is a Christmas makeup. No, highlighter is too much highlighter, especially when it comes to Christmas. I'm basically applying it like everywhere. On my forehead, cheekbones. I feel like a Christmas glow right now. Okay, I'm applying my Makeup Forever Mist and Fix setting spray I forgot about the inner corner and the brow bone highlighter let me take a detail brush okay I found one okay so I'm taking a little bit more of that highlighter I'm just going to mix it with the first one to create like a more goldeny shade and oh my god what happened I applied the setting spray before the mascara had the chance to dry and <laughs> I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it. Think positive. Okay, until this dries I'm going to do my thing <laughs> and apply some highlighter on my inner corners and my brow bone. This looks so bad. Why did I apply the mascara <laughs> before the setting spray? Will I ruin everything if I'm going to top it with some more concealer? Probably, yes. This looks remotely okay. I'd rather have cakey under eyes than stained under eyes. And today these are my only two options. <laughs> I want to finish the eye look by applying uh, gold on my waterline. And I'm going to use the NYX Slide On Pencil in the shade Glitzy Gold. This doesn't make that big of a difference, but... But I feel like it kind of ties the look together, let's say. Now I'm going to take my KVD Vegan Beauty Lip Liner in the shade Home Girl. I'm going to line my lips. I don't have a red lip pencil. Uh, but I'm going to use this one. It might be a little bit too dark. From what I can see. But I'm going for it, so... <laughs> I feel like this was a very poor choice of a lip liner. But I can maybe cover it with the lipstick. For lipstick I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Pioneer lipstick. With this one I'm going to try to go over the lip pencil as well. This lip liner. Why do I feel like I need to wipe this off and start again? I can't make this lip liner work. At least not in a red lip combination. Let's see, round two. <laughs> I'm going to apply it without a lip liner this time. Applying lipstick without a lip liner is nightmare fuel. <laughs> I 
And of course I have lipstick on my teeth. Okay, after some struggles, <laughs> I finally can say that this is a finished look. I really hope you enjoyed watching today's video. I feel like this is a very classy Christmas look and I had to start with something like this. I'm going to do a lot more Christmas looks in the future with maybe more interesting colors, let's say. But I really wanted to kick off this series with a classic Christmas color combination, gold and red. Yeah, I really hope this video was useful and you enjoyed watching it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below and also subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye!